Did you know you can back up your Amazon catalog and save your title, your bullets, your description, or the creepy guy watching the video in the backdrop called Dustin? My name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can access your catalog and back up those crazy attributes that this is kind of a new thing that has most people don't know about still. So what you're going to do is you're going to log into Seller Central. Up in the top here, you can put your cursor over Reports. You can go over to inventory reports that'll bring up this screen on here you can see in the drop down you're going to switch this to category listings report now watch here is there's this little yellow alert that says category listings report is in beta please note that the report and its features may be changed or removed at any time so this could be a moving target for you but here is why this is such an important thing and why this matters Anytime you do parentage work, anytime you do work on your catalog, you're switching the UPC codes, you're trying to change the brand name, maybe even you're just trying to do something simple like change an image, back the catalog up. Or you're going to be in for some world of pain and hurt when that catalog gets screwed up. And then you're going to be ticketing Amazon asking for some help and assistance. Those are bad things. So this is why that matters. So what you're going to do is you're going to Go ahead and download that. You can even filter this a little bit if you really wanted to and do it only for certain listings, but really no need to do that. Request report. Now, once you do that, we've requested this report many times. We generally do this for our own clients at My Amazon Guy once every 10, 14 days or so because we do a lot of catalog work at My Amazon Guy. And so in here, once that's done, you can see these category listings report all. You're going to see like the all in the parentheses. That's how you know you got the right report. Just simply hit that download button on the far right, and then that's going to bring up your file. This report does go through pretty fast. You can see this is in not complete or in progress off to the right here. But generally speaking, maybe 10 or 15 minutes at max, this will go right through. Now, if it goes longer than that, that's because Amazon's system is down. AWS has an issue. Usually those are temporary things. In this case, I'm doing this on a Sunday. Only took about one minute flat. Now we can download it. Here is the file in question. I do recommend opening this up in Excel. At the top there, you can see that enable editing button. Sometimes it throws people off just a little bit if you're trying to come in and change some data. So on the left, you get all the classic core attributes in this kind of peachy, tannish type of color. You got your free feed product type in column A, item SKU, brand name, etc. right? These are all core attributes. One of the most common things that people are trying to do is they're trying to load the UPC code. So you'll see that in column F and G, Frank and Giraffe columns right there. But, but by and large, if you're going to do something, just simply save this file, call it catalog backup, throw a date on it, and stick it into some driver folder somewhere. You want to do this frequently. Anytime you're about to make a catalog change, that's when you should be doing a catalog backup. But let's say you're only going to work on one SKU. So what you would do is you would, and by the way, here's a cool um, Excel hack. Hold down, control, shift, down. Boom, that's all the data right there. I'm going to hit delete. And let's just say I'm just going to work on this one SKU. Well, that's fine. Save this as a new file. Then when you're doing your uploads, you're only messing with data on one SKU at a time. Or, you know, if you're doing like 10 SKUs, you're building a parentage, all that's fine. Nothing wrong with any of that. But if you aren't going to work on the whole catalog, you may want to minimize the sort of product's data that you're working on. Um, now, by default, if you go to the update column, I'm going to do a control F here for update. And uh, that's actually just froze Excel. Nice. Thank you, Excel. I love when that happens. And it's totally, totally messed out here. But generally speaking, you're going to find that update column and it finally caught up. And uh, see how I got some data on the bottom there? That control shift down didn't grab everything. So that's probably why it took so long to do this. But this is the column in question if you're going to do like um, an update or a partial update. This is the most important thing you need to know about when doing catalog data changes. Hit that drop down and you can switch it between partial update, update or delete. If you leave it to the default partial update, only the data that you fill in will be altered. If you change this to update, any column that is blank will be wiped. Therefore, if you are trying to delete some kind of data, you will need to do the update. Although if you're trying to delete the product altogether, you'll switch to delete. 
Partial update is just to update the columns that you're loading. This is the most important catalog technique to be aware of. And guess what, guys? If you back up the data, it's okay if you mess this one up. It's okay if you accidentally delete your whole catalog because you did update, but you were only filling in that one attribute because you did this data catalog backup, which is why you're seeing this video today. So that'll save you a world of hurt and pain. So make all the changes that you've got in here. You see all these different columns that you could fill in if you want to. Once you're ready to load the file back in, go ahead and go back to Seller Central. They do change the dropdowns from time to time. So right here, we're now going to the catalog dropdown and going to add products via upload. Simply go to the upload your inventory file section here, browse for the file, put your email in here so you can track the results of the file and hit upload. You might have some errors to look at and stuff like that. And we have a little bit of a cameo from Sage, my three-year-old daughter. She's such a cutie. And I, I launched my brand Age of Sage because I love to, I want to build something to leave for her. So thanks for joining us, Sage. All right, guys, if you like this video, if you got other catalog questions, just leave a comment on the video. We'll help you out. Are you going to say anything? Probably more talkative than, than Dustin on the back there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys.